Hi all, my name is Swarav Dhani and in this video we will go through steps for creating a new service tier for Dynamics Nav or Business Central. I will be using Business Central 14 which is also called as Spring Release to demo this but you can follow all these steps in Dynamics Nav 2015 and higher. So the steps remains more or less same there might be a port less or a port more based on the version that you are in but otherwise all these steps are applicable to Dynamics Nav 2015 and higher so let's first understand uh, how the service works maybe with a diagram so let's assume that we have two databases and let me copy it here one is here this is my let's say production and this is my test database on my SQL server now a database can be connected to one or more services and that's okay to have multiple services to the database based on how you want it to used by the users as in you can have uh, services based on different user groups you might have one for specific task scheduler or job queue in the in the nav versions so based on the configuration that you have you may have one or more services per database so let's assume that I have three services to the production and two services to the test and that's all is okay uh, you will see that in you know in in your production environment where people tend to keep uh, one specific service for uh, task scheduler or NAS so that they can restart it if there is a problem and maybe multiple services based on users that you have in your company some people tend to keep uh, multiple web services for the purpose of web services uh, being hosted on a separate service so that it doesn't impact the users who are working on it and one for the client connection so there are multiple uh, ways how you can configure it but this situation is pretty much genuine that you can have multiple services pointing to the same database and maybe you call this one as let's say test web service let me give it a good color so that we can read it and maybe I'll give it to everything and maybe this is for test client connection this is for client connection this may be for web services and this may be for NAS in nav versions or task scheduler so a database can be connected to the multiple services but a service will always connect to one database unless you go and change it but at any given point of time one service will always point to one single database I hope that's clear let's go ahead and see how we create services so the first thing that you need to remember before you start creating services and you go to your uh, administration uh, panel of Dynamics Nav or Business Central you need to make sure that you are using the ports which are not being used till now and this is one of the common mistake that most of the people do and they face other issues related to this so first I'll check what my services are as you can see that I have two services right now one for business central 140 and one for business central 150 which is uh, business central 15 this service is using port number 714 five six seven eight and nine 
okay so I cannot use 7 1 any of these numbers let's go and check on business central 15 it is using 7 0 so we'll be creating two services and I'll be using a 7 2 series let's say and 7 3 series so the one way of creating a service is you can come to this panel right click where it says Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central and say add instance once you do that it will ask you what the parameters for your service so what you want to call your service like this is called as BC140 so I want to call it let's say prod for my production database and now you need to specify five unique ports in business central 140 so as I said earlier I'll use 72 series so I'll say 7245 7246 7247 7248 and 7249 and I click OK system will create a service based on what configuration I asked for for the port numbers but at the same time it will copy all the details from BC140 which is the base service that comes with Microsoft uh, installation into my new service which is the database name the server name and everything so let's click on this and you will see that it has port number seven two four six seven five and nine as I did it and then if you see it's mapped to the same database which my PC 140 is mapped to so it kind of copied every setting if I have uh, SOAP disable here it will also be disabled into prod so that kind of the service that comes from Microsoft kind of act as a, a master service which is copied whenever you create a new service from the panel so what I've done is I've created a database called prod in my local SQL I'll change the database name here so that it points to the right database and save it so now my service is here and it's ready and now if I have my SQL setting correct for this network service account I have access to the prod it will start running if you face any error at this point on the service creation do check other videos in my YouTube channel there are other videos which talks about provisioning your uh, service account and other things that are related to service error this video is not about that now let's see what's the other way of creating the service which is from PowerShell so I prefer to use PowerShell ISE right click on it and choose run as administrator once you do that it will load your PowerShell uh, uh, IDE the first thing that I want to do is to tell PowerShell that I'm going to run some business central 140 commands because I have two business central installed and even if you have one you need to explain it so how you do it you do it with a command called and let me zoom in you do it with import hyphen module command that you are importing a module that comes with the product and the path is at C program files Microsoft if you're using dynamic snap you'll choose dynamic snap business central slash 140 and I'm hitting tab as soon as I'm selecting it and then service and then last but not least is I'll say dot ps1 so what it does it filters out whatever matches to that parameter and I'll hit tab so my command is here which says import module from my service folder and the module name is navadmin tool dot ps1 okay 
so I'll run this that got ran and now all these commands which you see here are also available on this panel so I can refresh it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new server instance so I'll say new nav server instance choose that and you'll see all the options which we use there are also available here which is what is the management port number so as I said in this one I'll use 7345 what I want to call the service I want to call the service let's say test what type of credential you want to use I say Windows so there are more options and it in this case if you create it from PowerShell it doesn't copy uh, the setups or the data my service is not running the prod but I can fix it but when you create it from PowerShell it doesn't copy the data from BC140 and you get more flexibility to choose your options so my client service port will be 7346 I'm not using database credential I don't have an instance my database name is called as test and my server is localhost and my development port which is the last port is 7349 I don't want multi-tenancy I need to give the OData service port which is 7347 sorry 8 and my SOAP is 7347 if you are using a different service account you can choose it here to run the services so once I've done that I can always copy it if you keep on creating services it's better to copy it and then change these parameters as you go the server name the ports the database name everything you can change it here so I'll run it and let's see what happens on my service panel once this runs so this is complete so if I go here and I refresh this view I should see one more services service that is test and that have all the port numbers that I defined and this time I don't have to change it because now it's pointing to the right database because I defined it from the PowerShell in this case my SOAP is enabled whereas when I created it from the panel my SOAP was SOAP service port was disabled oh no it was enabled let me check on prod okay there's nothing that I can check here but okay these are the two ways that you can create services from for one from the panel or one from using the PowerShell and you can create multiple services for one database if you need so I hope you find this video useful in next video we'll see how to create new web server instance for these databases that we have in our system to access the modern client or in the older language called the web client please share your views questions suggestions as comment to this video please do share this video and subscribe to this channel have a great day and see you next time.